what's up everybody welcome back to my channel kicks for fresh now if you're new here you could call me k fresh and in today's video i'm going to give you a detailed review an on feet look and a quick how to style featuring the yeezy 500 ash gray now before we get off into the logistics of this video please make sure to hit that subscribe button on this channel i talk sneaker reviews clothing hauls and how to style so if that is something that you are interested in go ahead and join the family so now that we got that all out of the way let's go ahead and get into the review so first and foremost you get a standard yeezy box if you have any yeezys they all come in this card board box very minimalistic you do get the yeezy 500 made by adidas you get the 500 branding on the front the back has the Adidas logo as well. The official size tag information does read the Yeezy 500. I did get this in a US men's nine and a half and we will talk about sizing a little bit later. The official colorway is ash gray, ash gray, ash gray. And that is really truly all there is to this particular box. So as I open up the box, you do get a olive colored looking paper. Nothing really too fancy, but I do love the color of that paper for some reason when you open up the box you don't get any extra laces or anything like that but you do you know get a nice cardboard box like you always do with the Yeezy brand so as always I like to start out with the outer sole y'all this is something really different it is my first Yeezy 500 so it has never been something that I've seen the bottom of I really like the swirl pattern I know a lot of people probably wouldn't look at that, but I think this is really nice. It does say non-marking here on the bottom of the sole as well. Then when you look at the outer portion of the shoe, I think that's where the magic happens with this silhouette in particular. You do have the Addy Preen material, which we'll talk about a little bit later. And then you go get some mixed material. So I would say this mid panel right here, or mud guard as they like to call it, is more of a olive color it's very mute and very faint so hopefully you can actually see this with my lighting but it isn't that ash gray colorway then you do get some leather you get some mesh and you also get some suede right so you got the suede you got the mesh in here and then some just some small hits of leather around the sneaker when you do a top down view it is also in that ash gray colorway which i was going for a tonal look with a yeezy so this is something that i feel like i could wear every single day the toe box is a nice suede material very flexible very breathable in my opinion you got something different here that I've never seen on a Yeezy obviously because I haven't seen the Yeezy 500 you get into the inner part of the sneaker you do get some Adidas logo right here on the side next to the arch of the foot the back tab is kind of exaggerated in terms of the chunky sole back here which I don't think is a bad look I really like the detailing and all the different materials that you see again with this mesh and then the suede and the leather when you open open up the inside of the sneaker you do get some branding you get Yeezy Adidas and Ortholite if you are new here I actually just got a pair of New Balance 500s in that Syracuse colorway and it also has Ortholite in it and I thought that those sneakers were really really comfortable so let me actually just take the insole out because I noticed that they're actually really really cool I really love how cool this is uh you know I think it's a cool colorway I don't know why it made me want to take this out but you do have some adidas branding right here on the bottom part of the insole so that's nice and different and i did not know that that was in there so shout outs to d guy juice from the kick squad he was able to assist me on copping this pair on jd sports so i really appreciate the assist as always and if you're not following him please make sure to follow him the details are down in the description below so now that we've done the detail review, let me just give you a 360 look at this sneaker. Uh, I love how tonal it is, but it does have a lot of features and materials that stick out with the shoe. So this is a really nice shoe. I think it's like an everyday wear shoe, honestly. I wanna talk about sizing really quickly. So 
The only Yeezys that I own are 350s and I go a half size up to a nine and a half on all of those because I do feel that they run short. The only size nine I had is the Zebra. So if you wanna learn more about sizing on 350s, click the car up top. So when it came to the 500, I watched a lot of reviews and it was so inconsistent. So I just went ahead and did a nine and a half and I said, if nothing else, this is more of like a winter shoe. So I could just wear thicker socks and I think that I would be fine with this particular sneaker but I probably will do a sizing video later on in the year to let you know how these actually fit and hopefully that will be helpful if you are still considering purchasing any Yeezy 500s. So I am itching to get these sneakers on feet so let's go ahead and get to the on feet review right now. All right, y'all, so now that we've wrapped up the on feet, as always, I like to leave you with a how to style. So as you can see from the split screen, I am doing a very tonal color blocked look for this sneaker. I paired it with the Essentials Fear of God Essence collaboration in the linen colorway. So that is the hoodie that you see. And the joggers are also in the linen colorway, as you can see from the video. And then I threw on some darker brown socks. I don't know if you actually can see those. So I hope this video was helpful for you. This was my first Yeezy 500, like I said earlier. So I really wanted to get my hands on a pair because I've always been a fan of this particular silhouette. I'm not as a fan of the different colorways where you have that weird, crazy, color blockings all in all this sneaker was at a price point of $200 so if you are looking to cop this sneaker just know that it is not going for that much so you may want to go ahead and get it because as I see a lot of times the 500s actually trend around 300 to 350 dollars depending on the size smaller sizes usually cost a lot more than the bigger sizes so with this being a nine and a half I'm hopeful that anybody that is nine and a half and above will not have to break the bank to secure their pair.